all I have to do is come up with like three to ten seconds, just something humorous or something lighthearted for an intro. Sometimes that's the hardest thing that we do. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Positive Crunch YouTube channel. We appreciate you stopping by, as always. So today, we got a little bit of Hans Vendol from Sabaton. We have a cool video that I have found, and I hope that it is going to be pretty epic. We've done one of these uh, Yamaha artist videos uh, before, and it did pretty good. And we uh, really enjoyed it. We learned a lot from, from the man himself one of our favorite drummers, and uh, a really cool, really interesting dude. So, and yes, I do know he is married to Floor, so. <laughs> but, I mean, you can put it in the comment below if you'd like, and, you know. <laughs> we appreciate all comments. And, hey, since I said that, if you're new here, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, click that bell for notifications, and... Join our family. We'd love to have you here. We have a lot of videos. We do a lot of uh, artists that uh, are musicians and that focus on their instruments. Bass players, drummers, guitars, and stuff like that. Right now, we've done more drum... Well, we're doing a drummer spotlight series, so we've done a lot more of those. But we do uh, have some plans coming forward with some other cool stuff. So stick around. Subscribe. All right. Enough me battering around here with my super cool Sabaton Swedish Empire Tour shirt. Official merch. Let's get to this video. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's get started with this thing. If I look off camera a few times, it's because I'm like getting live text and all kinds of messages from Wyatt right now. They're, he's pulling in down at the, uh, the coast. For a, a week of camping so <sighs> I get to go back to work yay me uh, okay so artist profile ha uh, Hans van Dahl from Sabaton Yamaha live custom hybrid oak this is his new kit that he's just uh, at the first of the year taking possession of to take on road and I will try to remember if you're interested in Hans's setup uh, what his kit consists of I'm gonna try to link that down below Got to remember that. So, uh, in, anyway, let's get to this. Uh, I'm excited. I hope it looks like there's going to be some playing here. He's behind the kit. So, I hope there's a lot of drumming and some knowledge that we can learn today. All right. So, bam. We did a show a few years ago, a big show, and there was pyro and tanks and all kinds of cool stuff happening all the time. And it wasn't a good show, and we didn't really know why. Why, like, it's super, it's huge, you know? Pyro doesn't make the show, it just enhances it. So it was a good lesson to learn, like, you, you can have all kinds of cool stuff, but that doesn't make the show good. The band and the music does the show, and then you can enhance it with super cool flames. So, my name is Hannes van Dahl and I'm the drummer of Sabaton. What makes it a good show? You know, that's, that's not the pyro or the big screens or big tanks. That's the band and the interaction with the fans. That's where it happens. Even if it's a hundred people or five of your best friends or today, 13 and a half thousand people. It's all about the crowd, I would say, and how the band, because it's a mutual thing, you know. They give us energy, we give them energy, and that we're here together doing the, the show together, basically, because if they don't show up, we can't. That's how simple as that is. The crowd. So I'm so stoked uh, over this new kit, actually. That's why I'm sitting here looking at it. Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, sometimes I'm waving at it. <laughs> 10, 12, 13, 14, 16, 18, and two 24s. 
Well, the mounting system to begin with is it's a it's a new new mounts on it, almost like free free floating, so it resonates a lot more. Yeah, it's a, it sounds big. Yeah, big and punchy to me. Yeah. Well, I, I really can tell like you that, that these drums, you can put them anywhere and they'll sound great. You know, it's 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 my club kit and my stadium kit. It's the same <laughs> kit. So now I'm using the hybrid O kit, but I'm so happy that I have it because especially for this music, you need drums that cuts through the mix like a, like a knife, and it really does. So we're in the States touring when the AD was released and our Fun of House guy came up to me and said, yeah, we need to see if we can get one. I'm like, yeah, sure, but I don't know what do we need it for. It's like, yeah, I want to try some stuff. Can we please get one? So we, had, we got one and he started to, uh, to mess with it and try it out. And you could just see his face that he was just getting happier by the, by the minute. So basically what he's adding is, is the room you know the room mics which you don't necessarily get it's a very versatile you know little thing yeah that is super cool on so many levels so it's been super useful for us actually well actually i was in japan uh, trying out the prototype first already then it was quite far gone production wise so um, quite similar to the way it looks now just a few features that that were updated since then for me anyway like especially in this band where you have fast stuff slow stuff ballads some tricky stuff you need a versatile pedal where you can play different types of songs i want the the weight of it but still the re response that that you need to play the fastest stuff or whatever so I'm really becoming friends with it at this point, actually. <laughs> and this is one of those kits where you can set it up, you can get the heads on, you tune it, and you're good to go. Arena, studio, or club. It will just sound f***ing great. Well, it wasn't quite the video that I thought, but it was still really interesting and cool. Uh, I always love these videos whenever you can kind of uh, get some insight from the artist, you know, or maybe their experiences on the road and what they see, what they run into, issues, problems, discovery of new things, trying out new equipment. Um, I will say this, I really, really did dig that kit, man. I love the, the look of it. And if I'm not mistaken, I think when uh, when they came out with those, I think they've been out almost a, a little over a year, maybe. Anyway, it was all pretty much a like the burst pattern, like the you know the faded light in the dark pattern. There weren't any solid colors. I haven't checked that out. I need to look and see if there's uh, if they've changed that with the that particular hybrid you know the hybrid oak line but wow those things they look great um always a cool video whenever you can you know you can learn something and and, and you know obviously he's selling he's trying to sell some drums for the company uh they do obviously um sponsor him and a lot of other cool artists but um we'll have another one coming up i'm actually doing a couple uh, drum cam videos. I just saw this and was, I just had to do it. I, I just had to do it. Uh, I, I really, he's one of my favorite drummers right now. Uh, when I talk about young drummers, um, I mean, I'm 46, uh, but younger drummers that are out there uh, doing their thing, he, he's, he's an awesome drummer and, he, and I can't imagine uh, each year how he will progress and where he will end up uh, he is a talent and and I enjoy watching him play uh, love to hear him behind the uh, behind the band and we are super huge Sabaton Farik so anyway I'm gonna stop it there I hope you enjoyed this video maybe you learned something maybe you're looking for some uh, 
some different uh, drums or you're looking for your first kit I imagine these are going to be a little bit on the pricier side but I've been looking at some Phoenix drums and I've also been looking at some reference pure so <laughs> cha ching uh, anyway we're going to stop there go out and do something positive for somebody today and also for yourself you never know just how much that will make the day go by better anyway thanks for stopping by if you're new here make sure like we said to hit that subscribe button and join the family outside of that you know what's coming next stay awesome and rock on thanks for stopping by everybody <laughs>